We have already covered the concept of earth convergence or convergency in a previous lesson. It is the angle of inclination of meridians on the earth or the change in direction of a great circle on the earth. Chart convergence is the angle of inclination of meridians on the chart or the change in direction of a straight line on the chart. On the Mercator chart, as all meridians are parallel, their angle of inclination to each other is zero. The change in direction of a straight line is also zero. It will always cut all meridians at the same angle. That is why Mercator produced the chart in the first place, so that a straight line on the chart gives a single track angle. Earth convergency is also zero at the equator, but nowhere else. Therefore, Mercator chart convergence is correct at the equator, but nowhere else. Mercator convergence is constant all over the chart. It is always zero. We already know how rum lines appear. Because the meridians are parallel lines, a straight line track on the chart will cut all meridians at the same angle. A straight line track on a Mercator chart is a rum line. How will great circles be portrayed on this chart? On the Earth, great circles are the most direct track. Therefore, they will always lie nearer the pole than the equivalent rum line route. So, if the rum line is a straight line, the great circle must be a curve concave to the equator. The equivalent situation in the southern hemisphere will be like this. And where a rum line and a great circle cross the equator, the crossing point is the same, and the great circle is concave to the equator in both hemispheres. Let us look at this route from London to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to Auckland, New Zealand, Auckland to Singapore, and from Singapore back to London again. Note that the route from London to Los Angeles is all in the Northern Hemisphere. LA to Auckland crosses the equator. Auckland to Singapore is all in the Southern Hemisphere. And Singapore back to London is all in the Northern Hemisphere again. This is on a Mercator chart, so the straight lines joining these points are all rum lines. However, always bear in mind that they are not the shortest route. It is a distortion of the chart. Now, remembering where the equator is, try to visualize where you think the corresponding great circle routes will appear. It should look like this. Did you get it right? It may seem counterintuitive, but the curved lines actually represent the shortest route. Most people underestimate the amount of curvature on the great circles. But we can work it out. Let's take the London to Los Angeles leg. The initial angle between the great circle and the rum line is, of course, conversion angle. Conversion angle is half change of longitude times sine mean latitude. London is on the Greenwich meridian. Los Angeles's longitude is about 120 west. So half of 120 degrees is 60. London's latitude is about 52 north, whereas LA is about 34 north. So the mean latitude is about 45 north. Sine 45 is about 0.7. Multiplying out, the conversion angle should be about 42 degrees. Now have a look at the diagram again, and you'll see that it's about right. Try the same exercise with the other conversion angles.
Notice that you have to split a track crossing the equator into two curves, one in the northern hemisphere and the other in the south. But the arithmetic still works for each section. So now let's summarize these properties. We'll list them and go through them more briefly this time. Scale Scale is correct at the equator. Elsewhere, it expands as the secant of the latitude. It is within 1% of the scale at the equator, up to 8 degrees north or south of the equator, and within half a percent, up to 6 degrees from the equator. The chart is orthomorphic. All charts used for navigation must be. The graticule. Meridians are straight parallel lines evenly spaced. Parallels are straight parallel lines with the space between them increasing as the secant of the latitude. Shapes Shapes are reasonably correct over small areas. But there is distortion over large areas, especially at high latitudes. Chart convergence The chart convergence is zero everywhere. It is correct at the equator and constant across the chart. Rum lines. Rum lines are straight lines. Great circles. The equator and meridians are straight lines because they are also rum lines. All other great circles are curves, with a track nearer the pole or concave to the equator. That concludes the lesson on basic Mercator properties. In the next lesson, we will examine the calculation of Mercator scale change in more detail.